Well, we have Mr. Burt while he's busily blowing trombone simultaneously on our 1280 Club party line. And uh, how do you do? Eddie Burt, how are you? Fine, Lee. Nice talking to you. This is Lee Cameron from WOV New York, and uh, we promised each other an appointment on our party line because we wanted to ask you a few things about making music in general. You're a pretty facile trombonist, I gather. <laughs> Thanks. Well, praise. We'll not bust any buttons tonight. We've been playing some of your discovery discs, like uh, Mool Shah Ja and just a fragment of Ming Tree. Oh, yeah. and, and, and the titles are so unusual, I'd like to ask you about them. For example, what is Mool Shah Ja? Is it an oriental uh, combination of title or derivative, or what is it? Well, no, it's just a, a family affair. And uh, Mal means Molly. Uh -huh. And uh, the Shah Ja is Sharon and Jane put together, you know. Well, that sounds like your family. Uh-huh. And that's what it is? That's what it is. Who's Molly? She's my wife. And, uh, S-H-I, Shah, or... Uh, Sharon, that's one of my children. Uh-huh, and Ja. And Jane. Huh, and that's another, uh-huh. Yes, the other one. And the Ming Tree, which we were just playing a part of, and we'll finish up in just a moment, uh, stands for what? Well, that's a present I gave to my wife when we had the second child, Jane, you know. Uh-huh. And it's supposed to be a good luck omen, too. Well, it sounds to me like you kind of worship each other. <laughs> well, this sounds like true story on the line here. Uh, but not at all. Just some legitimate, real affection for uh, family life, right? Right. Well, you know, you know, most people have uh, various impressions of music and show business, and we just uh, thought we'd bring that out, casually, that is. You know, you've been playing with big bands like Stan Kenton and a lot of small bands all around the country, and no doubt um, we... You get your kicks in a small band, but actually, which do you prefer to play in, the big or the small organization? Well, myself, I prefer a small band because you have more, you know, there's more room for expression and more freedom of swing, which I'm interested in right now. And uh, with these uh, discs that you're putting out on the Discovery label, you get an excellent chance to show off some of your ideas then. Well, I'm trying to get get a point over, you know, with guitar and trombone, sort of a new sound. It, it certainly is, and it seems as if the trombone is suspended right over the whole uh, operation. Well, you got the idea. That's what I'm trying to do. You know, uh, I, I got a chance to preview. We, we, we have a met before, I know that, and we, this is no stranger uh, talking one to the other. I caught some of those new LP sides of yours, which may come out in the future, and there's a story of the little train that you've painted musically. That's uh, a knockout. And you certainly prove a point with that trombone suspended over a guitar with a guy like Sal Salvador. And I'm glad you like it. That's sort of a descriptive piece, you know, and the symbol adds a lot to it. So it sounded like a little train, so that's what I called it, you know. And uh, you can actually see that little train moving along. How, how soon before that uh, disc makes its debut? It should be out the latter part of, of August or... Or the beginning of September, the latest. Well, that sounds like uh, we can look forward to some fresh new sounds by Eddie Burt, his trombone, and his small band, minus the section gang. And it certainly will be a pleasure, Eddie. Thanks a lot for talking in the 1280 Club party line. Thank you, Lee. And lots of good luck. We hope you succeed with your ideas and build a nice identification for yourself in this business of modern jazz. Thank you very much. And uh, we'll be seeing you on the New York scene. Okay. Good night. Good night.